Welcome back to Polk County Cooperative Extension Ready, Set, and Grow video series. And today we're talking about overseeding your warm season grass. Uh, as it gets cold and as we get frost, the Bermuda grass that you see here on the ground will start to turn brown, obviously. It'll die out and be brown all winter long. For some folks, that's great. They enjoy that. Other folks want it to be green year round. So there are several options to keep that green. Um, one option, which we're going to be doing here today, is to overseed it with a ryegrass. Two different types of ryegrass we typically use, either an annual rye or a perennial rye. Perennial rye is by far the prettiest, uh, but the problem that we have with that is sometimes it leaves clumps in the, you know, the spring and summer of next year, which we don't want. We may have to spray that off. If you don't want to do that, there's a fairly new option, which is using a turf-type annual ryegrass. This is not your standard ryegrass that you use in a pasture. It's one that grows a lot lower, requires less mowing in the wintertime, so that's what we'll be using. Today we'll be using one called New Spirit, um, which is a variety that's readily available that you can get, and so we're we'll putting that down today. Things you'll need for this, obviously the seed. You also need a lawnmower to get rid of the grass that you have currently here, as well as a rake to kind of go over it and get out some of that thatch, or you could use a dethatcher if you had one of those. Um, you may also want to apply some fertilizer at this time to kind of push the grass, um, but it's not always necessary to do that with just a ryegrass. The first step in renovating your Bermuda or warm season grass lawn is to mow away all the dying grass. So you want to take it down as low as you possibly can get it. With the push mower, it's going to take several passes. With riding mower, you may be able to do it all at one time. It just depends on the power of your mower, obviously. So bagging it is the best way, otherwise you'll be raking a whole bunch. So I'm going to take two passes on here at least. Um, so we'll go over one time, take out down about halfway, and then another time. We will be emptying the bag quite a bit to be able to get all this off. You'd be amazed how much residue is still on this lawn. Um, and we may need to go over a third pass to be able to fin finalize the cut to make sure we have a good cut. And that's one pass. And you can see what we have here. We've still got a lot of grass, even though we took tons off. It's brown because Bermuda grass is kind of like a tree. It has a nice long stem and then it has a poof of green on the top. So we took the poof of green off, but we want to get rid of this stemmy part. And so we'll take that down next. All right, so after three passes um, and going down as far as the mower will take it, we've got this result. So this is great, this will be fine. Um, when you're done, you still have a lot of little grass clippings and, and thatch down at the bottom. And sometimes that can inhibit germination of your new grass seed. So the best thing you can do is, like I said, run a dethatcher over it, or you could just use a, even use a rake. And this is kind of a little tinny rake, but you can actually pull through it and you'll just pull the grass out and expose some dirt. And so if you expose that, that soil in there, you'll get much better germination than if you just throw it out on top of this ground right here. Now the other option, if you don't want to do this step and you just want to throw it on top and it lands on the grass, if you have an irrigation system and you water it quite well uh, every day when you're trying to get the seed to germinate, it will germinate even on top of the grass and the, the root will go down into the soil at that point. But otherwise, it may sit up there dry and not germinate. This is the grass seed we talked about before. It's called New Spirit. It's a turf type annual ryegrass, which has been around for a little while, but they're fairly new. Um, they're just darker green, um, lower growing than a typical annual ryegrass, um, which we typically would not seed in the lawn. So this is used simply because we don't want to use perennial because we'd have to spray off any clumps. And this just helps us to eliminate that step. The key to this is getting it down thick enough because we're wanting it to come up, grow really fast, all, the, all through the winter and then die. So we want it to be nice and thick. We're not wanting it to grow in from small uh, you know, amounts of planting. We want to do a big planting and you know, let it come in from little pieces and the, the actual grass will not spread too much. As far as clumping, it will just be so many grass seedlings coming up that it will cover the lawn. So we want to put down at least 10 pounds per thousand square feet. Um, and in this case, we've got about Oh, five or six hundred square feet, and so we'll put down, you know, about half the rate, about you know, five pounds, five six pounds. I'm going to do it by hand in a bucket because we need to be fairly precise because we have a walkway and we have other grass types that we uh, we show here. So make sure that uh, you know if you are precise, if you're going beside your flower beds or things like that, because it can come up as a weed. 
but you may want to use a push rotary spreader or a, one you carry around your neck. If you've got wide open spaces, that'll be much more efficient than throwing by hand. Okay. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. For really precise areas, you can just kind of walk around sprinkling and putting it down the best you can. Or you can stand back and with years of practice, you can do a little throw, a little side-handed throw and walk backwards. And that works well too. And this is my preferred method of throwing grass seed. You just gotta always watch where you're going so you get a nice even throw and germination. And that's really all there is to it. Just a little flick of the wrist and you've got the seed down and you're good to go. So main thing here is water. So if you get rain, that's great. If not, irrigate and that will allow it to come up very quickly. It should come up within, you know, start germinating in four days or so. So it should be up and, and green within, you know, eight days, eight, 10 days, you should have a nice green lawn out here. It'll look nice. Fertilizer is important with this. You don't have to do it when you first put the seed out, but I would say a couple weeks after it comes up, adding a little bit of, of you know, nitrogen fertilizer will make it nice and green for the winter. Now you don't have to do it every week or anything, but if you do a, an application of fertilizer a couple times during the winter, that will keep it nice and green if you really want it to look really, really good and really show up the neighbors. Mm -hmm.